today I'm going to give you a little tour of uh, my new retro tech, as we call it, uh, keyboard setup. And the reason I call it retro tech is because it's very high tech, but I'm using retro sounds. I'm using, uh, where's the stupid mouse? So I'm using a, a MacBook Pro, which has all the sound gear modules in them. They're called plugins, and I'm using uh, some plugins from Arturia, which I'm endorsed by. And I'm using two Mini Moogs and two CS80s and a Jupiter 8, and that's coming out of the Mac. And to trigger these sounds, I'm using these little keyboards, and they're called X keys. And they're from, uh, they're made by CME. And uh, they've been happy enough to supply me with all these keyboards. So they are all set to one sound. So one may be strings, one may be a mini moog, one may be a pad. And it helps with my eyesight too, because as you know, I had an eye operation. So I don't have to make as much switches of sounds because they're already there. The bottom two main keyboards are the Alasis VI61 and I can layer up to eight sounds so it's very can be very very big you can't do that with any other normal keyboard so very happy it took a lot of programming to get this together and the Alasis is also trigger the sounds coming from the Mac and uh, I'm using Omnisphere as well so Omnisphere is a, an amazing plug-in that has all my retro sounds. So if you come to a show and you, you're hearing sounds that I used to use back in the 80s and stuff, that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, even though Korg's been very good, I've never been able to replicate the sounds exactly how I wanted them. And I'm still using a Korg here, and uh, Korg Kronos, and it's just for, just for safety reasons, and because, as you know, computers can crash, so I can at least get through a song. And um, also using the iPad to change some of the sounds in Omnisphere from this keyboard. So I can change from an on loose sound to PPG and bells, and the iPad's attached to the Mac. And I, I just use the interface to change the sounds on there. So it's very, as you can see, a lot of high tech kind of scary but it's fun and everything is powered through USB so I have two USB hubs here here and here and they all go to the Mac into the ports and then uh, the sound coming out of the Mac comes out of Firewire into Motu and the Motu has given me the outs so I have six two two three stereo mixes that go to out front and then he has, he's he's controlling that, but he he doesn't have every single thing. I have to control the mix for me on the computer. So there you have it, and hopefully uh, you come down live and uh, see it for yourself. It's much fun. It's a glamorous life.